all in this together. Make this world better. <clears throat> <laughs> Hello there, everyone. I'm Julie, the brilliant health and lifestyle coach, and this is Richard. And tell me more, you have a website? I do, it's the rawexperience.com. Uh, no E on experience, just the X. The cool way? Yeah, absolutely. And you make YouTube videos. I do, and that's also the raw experience. No E. <laughs> yes. Yes. So now, what brought you here to Woodstock Fruit Festival, and how did you got into raw foods? Well, um, you know, I've been overweight my entire life. Uh -huh. um, my highest weight was uh, 669 pounds. And uh, I've battled a lot of health issues. Uh -huh. um, I've had, you know, I've been hospitalized multiple times for staph infections in my legs, um, diet type two diabetes, high blood pressure, um, depression, just you know, That's all every, everything that comes from obesity. Yes, absolutely. Um, which you know, uh, I've already beat type two diabetes. That's great. Yeah, Congratulations. absolutely. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it, it's been a long process to get there. Um, it's been about two years ago, I, I started researching raw foods. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the reason was, you know, everybody out there has a gimmick. Everybody has a supplement, a pill, you know, a surgery. Yes. And, 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 I, and I, that's not the way that I want to, you know, lose weight. Um, it doesn't work long term, right? Right, it doesn't. It doesn't work. I mean, I've seen gastric bypasses fail. All the time I see them fail. Um, and pills. It's even is, risk to die during that operation. Absolutely. I was actually one week away from getting a gastric bypass and uh, my surgeon tried to rush it through and, and luckily for me, you know, he, he didn't feel comfortable with rushing it through as quick as he did. That's good. So I'm very thankful that that didn't happen. Um, so, so uh, you know, I, I just started researching, you know, who are the healthiest people on the planet? Mm -hmm. And initially people automatically go, well, athletes. You know NFL stars, NBA stars, you know soccer players and everything. So I, so I looked at them and found that a lot of them were doing supplements. You know a lot were doing steroids. Then it doesn't That's seem natural. Enough. It doesn't seem natural at all. So I, I started looking more and I found um, Harley, uh -huh. uh, aka Durian Rider, um, Mike Arnstein, and and like these guys were amazing. And they were eating fruits and vegetables. You know? Like that's crazy. Who, who yeah. can do this on fruits and vegetables? Like, it doesn't make sense. We have them here in the Woodstock Fruit Festival. We see tomorrow. Mike Arstein is running. You know, they are the highest mental clarity and physical endurance of capable of people, and it's just amazing. It's real proof that you can really do this, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and and you know, it, it, like I said, it's been a long process. You know, this started two years ago, and uh, 17 weeks ago, I decided, you know, I've had enough. You know, it's time. And, and overnight, it's I became a vegan. Time to go 100 percent. Yeah, right? yeah. I, it's time to go 100 um, percent. I started 100 percent raw. Um, that lasted a few weeks. Uh -huh. um, then you know. A little bit of depression came back with some, with some issues. Mm -hmm. You know, I started turning to cooked food. You know, just just because Going that that was that comfort. Back. Yeah, it's like you know. numbing down those emotions and feelings. That's exactly what it is. That's, that's exactly what it is. And and but I still continue to be a vegan. Mm -hmm. and, and and I never foresee myself eating meat ever again. Um, well, you know, one hundred percent certainty with that. Um, so. Basically, I came to Woodstock to kind of get back to the basics of, of where I started and, and get back to the fruits. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I plan on continuing this, you know, when I, after Woodstock and, uh, you know, I'm hoping to go to Costa Rica at right. uh, the beginning of next year and, awesome. and, you know, live down there hopefully a couple, for a couple months and uh, just get fully immersed into this lifestyle. Like, you know, it's, it's so strange because I don't have anybody that I can relate to. Mm -hmm. In my you know personal home life, uh, so yeah. I come here and it's all love and everybody's eating fruit and everybody understands like, you know, I, I, it I, feels I, great to yeah. eat fruit. Yeah, and it's like it, it's it's almost a spiritual thing. Yes. And and yes. before I heard that, I was you know, but whacked what, out, whacked out. Yeah. Like, but now I get like I fully get that. Like within four weeks, I got that. Like I started, I, I was like, all right, I want to be a vegan to lose weight. 
Then it, then it became, within a matter of weeks, it became something totally different. Yeah. I, I saw, like I looked at things. The consciousness changes. It did. I, I looked at things different. Like, I look at something as simple as a tree different now. Yeah. Like, before it was just a tree. Now yeah. it's like life. Yeah. Like, it, that tree helps me live. And, and, and it's just so amazing the way my mind has changed about the way I think about things. And you uh, see people differently too, right? I do. I do. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's also a really tough thing to deal with. Um, because I do, I have a lot of relationships that aren't healthy for me. And I'm realizing that now. And, and it's a really tough thing to kind of release, you know, all my friends because... They're not really, you know, benefiting. Not, or not, yes. not I, won't, I want to say benefiting yes. me, but but they're, it's not it's for negative for yeah. me. And and it's really it's really a tough thing to go through. It's they're not supporting you, but they're just keeping you where you was before because they've seen you the way you were, and they they did not change, and they think you are still the same, and they you know don't really get this lifestyle, and it's hard for them to understand you or support you, you know, because they. Right. Yeah. And and, and, and and I mean they, they you know, they support me with losing oh, weight, obviously. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But but you know, any farther than that, like they don't understand vegan. Yes. They don't understand what I mean by when I look at a tree, I yes. see life. Yes. You know, and nobody gets that and it's hard to it's really hard to deal with. Yeah. Because, you know, I just for my entire life I've just wanted somebody to understand mm -hmm. me. You, yes. you know, and, and, and I've never had that and uh and I'm, I'm really getting that here at Woodstock. It, it, it's amazing, the love, and, and everybody, like, from YouTube videos, people's like, oh, watch YouTube videos, and, uh, what, you know, I'm, I, it's just, it's so surreal, it's so surreal. Well, everyone is really supportive here and want to succeed everyone, and, and, you know, it's gonna take some time, and I think that you are really strong for doing this, because it takes a little bit time to uh, start being 100%, but you know, you gotta do it because there is no other way. Like for me, it took a couple of months to, I had still cravings, you know, but it, the further you go, the easier it gets. Because like, you know, you grew up with this food all your life. Right. And now it's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to this real natural food, like, but uh, it's, it's just, totally worth it oh absolutely i mean in 17 weeks i've lost 75 pounds so far oh so and i feel like simply amazing like i i mentally want to go like run you know for 100 miles like mike does but you know physically I, i'm not at that not point yet. where right yeah not yet and and one day but i will, will get there yeah. yeah it's uh i'm sure you it's it's might take you a year or so but if you stay on this, I've seen so many people get there and run, tri do triathlons, do marathons. Right. Well, I'm, I'm 35 years old, and it took me 35 years to get to yeah. to this size. So, you know, if it takes a year, two years, three years, four years, that's fine. Because I know that I'm, I'm doing the right thing for me, by, by me. So, your friends, well, they support you, of course. And how is your family? Do they, uh, do they try to eat more fruits vegetables or uh not really um they, they did kind of they, they did get more health conscious mm -hmm. you know I, both my parents are overweight uh -huh. um and, and around january february you know when most people go on diets both of them started my dad's done really well i think he's lost like 70 pounds uh -huh. on his own and uh you know my mom she, she's struggling with some weight loss issues and you know I, I'm, I'm trying to just instead of instill you know preaching yeah. I'm trying to set the example That's of great. what this you lifestyle can be do. the example, the living proof, you know. Right. The way you feel, the way you look, the way everything's. Yeah, because you know, words are words. You know, if, yes. if you if you can physically see the change, exactly. then then that's just so much more, you know, so powerful. Yeah, because they can't convince people. You know, they gotta see, and then they start to ask you. You know, what you doing? Like, what have you done that you healed and you lost this all weight? Um, so what's been your diet before, let's say, daily diet, and what's it is right now? Tell for people who... Uh, oh, um, oh, my diet before was, you know, in the morning I would have a coffee, um, a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel or two. Mm -hmm. um, then a couple hours later I would 
whatever drive through I was closest, you know, Hardee's, McDonald's, I would get me, you know, like two cheeseburgers, Bendies. a fry, mm -hmm. you know, a, 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 the biggest soda they have. And for dinner, it would be the same. I mean, I was going to drive throughs two, three times a day. Two um, times a day. I, I, you know, it, I, I love pizza. Getting like Big Macs and pizzas. Oh, yeah, like pizza was my, that was my thing. Like, I could literally eat pizza. Excuse me, let me rephrase that. Okay. Could have ate pizza every uh -huh. day for the rest of my life. So, I mean, I could put down two large pizzas and order a cheese sticks in one sitting. So I mean, I, it was really high fat, a lot of cheese, uh, a lot of a lot of hamburgers. Uh, I didn't like chicken a lot. Chicken mm -hmm. really wasn't my thing, unless they were deep fried wings. Then you know they were okay then. Uh -huh. um, you know, and and that's what it was. And now it's uh, every day. You know, it, it differs on what I eat. Uh -huh. um, I try to eat as much fruit and vegetables as I can. Uh, some days I do. Some days I don't. I do at least have one fruit meal a day. Um, other times, I, there's we have a local restaurant from where I'm from that, that cooks vegan food. Mm -hmm. That's that's very delicious and, and honestly it's helped get me through the beginning of the this. The cravings and everything that reminds you more of the foods you've been used to eating. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, so so you know I, it's you know vegan pasta with you know the soy uh, stuff and sauces and all this you know so. But, but I'm trying to get away from that, mm -hmm. um, obviously now. You know, I'm here at Woodstock, yes. so, so people yes. ask me what I'm eating now, I eat fruit, you know. Bananas, durians, oranges. I, I had my first durian last night at the durian party. It was... Tell us how... <laughs> it, 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 it was interesting. It, it smelled horrible. This was last night. It smelled horrible, and it tasted like onions, but then... It was sweet after that. It, it just hit every flavor in the palate. It, it was it was amazing. And then, so I again today, I gave it a try. So much better the second time that I even gave it a third try today. So much better the third time. And, Gets oh gosh, I think I'm hooked. <laughs> now you're addicted for life. Yeah. The new addiction, which yeah. is healthy, guilty-free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, guilty-free. Yeah, definitely. Eat as much, Eat as, as, much as I want, yeah. That's sweet. And, and that's what I love about this lifestyle. Yeah. You know, you can eat as much as you there want. There is no restrictions. Right. You know? And it's like eating dessert for every meal, basically, which people, you know, think, you know, they can't have dessert, but this is sweet fruit. It's like a dessert. It's candy. And it's it's candy. candy. It's nature's candy. Yeah. And it's still, oh, it's juicy, running down your face. Oh, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I love it. So, that's great, you know. Um, do you still um, get any, like, cravings for, like, the bad foods you used to eat, or? I have not got a craving for meat. Or, or you know any of the dairy or anything like that for for about um, 12 weeks that's good uh, you know the transition was really quick with the cravings you know the first week was really bad uh -huh. and now you know I, I go to a, a local grocery store uh -huh. and they're they're famously known for their fried chicken so I go in there and get a salad and now I smell the fried chicken and it's like literally makes me gag like on the way here I had to stop at a McDonald's to go to the bathroom uh -huh. and I walked in and almost you know vomited right there because the smell was just disgusting and this yeah. was the food that I loved to eat like I two I was at McDonald's two times a day many days of my life just eat just eating all that up yeah. and now it just it, you it thought, makes me sick you thought it was good for you you thought that that food you know the the way they advertise, they not tell you that the food is causing the all the conditions and addictions and full of chemicals and hormones and all the terrible you know stuff. Well, I, you know, I wouldn't say that that I thought it was good for uh -huh. me. Um, I knew deep down inside that it wasn't good for me, uh -huh. but I used it to make me feel worse uh -huh. because when you know I was in a Kinda really deep state of depression. So, down your right, yeah, absolutely. And when you feel bad, I'm sorry. you want to uh, continue to make yourself feel bad. Uh -huh. So, so by eating food, 
horrible food, it, 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 it makes you feel worse. Uh -huh. So it numbs you out to yes. everything. And that's what I, you know, food was my drug. You know, I'll be the first to admit it. Yes, I, yeah, I have, I have a food addiction, and, and I still have a food addiction. You know, I, it's something that I'll never be. Well, we all ha we people are designed to eat food that tastes good. I mean, we all kind of have food addictions, but those foods are made to be addictive differently. That you, they kind of take over your mind almost. Like no, absolutely, they do, and, and, and the mental clarity that I've got since yeah. I started. Just from being a vegan it is amazing. Mm -hmm. it, it's simply, you know, I can remember things more often. It, it's just, and everything's clear. Like I don't have that fog. I was always yeah. in a fog, and, and it was, it was really. I, I'm, I'm so thankful that I found this way of living. Wonderful, and it's only the beginning. You know? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's just the beginning. Gonna get so much even more better. Like, do you know Philip McLuxky? I do. Yeah. yeah. He lost how many pounds? Uh, 300? Uh, was it that much? Yeah, I, I, it might have been around that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, so he, I, so I'm, he's looking good now. I'm looking to beat him because I'm looking to lose 400. Well, you will beat him. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Well, what would you advise for people who are still struggling and they don't believe, they think this is like not for them they would never be able to do it and this is like quack or something not like what we are talking is probably not true and they uh, just I, don't imagine like i was there I, I absolutely i watched these videos and i thought the same thing but you know i i, I wish i could convince everybody to do it you know people won't change until they're ready to change i you know it was a two-year process for me but the day i decided to change i changed it's like I sat and realized what I really want out of life. And I want more than what I was giving myself. Mm -hmm. And once people realize the potential they have within themselves to do greatest things, they can do whatever they want. So, can my, achieve my, anything. Yeah, you can. You can. Like, it, you know, they say the sky's the limit. No, it's not because I'm building a rocket ship, you know. Yeah. So, the only thing that I would say is give this lifestyle a chance. Two weeks. Two weeks. Just plain, what's two weeks out of your life? You know, a, a, a drop in the bucket. It's nothing. Yeah. yeah, it's a drop in the bucket. And if you do it for two weeks, I can almost guarantee you probably 80% of people that, that actually stick to this and we'll do it 100% percent will want to continue because you just feel so amazing. And th that's how I felt. I was doing, uh, I was doing almost vegan diet, but uh, I was doing not high fruit. I was doing still eating lots and different things. I was eating kind of healthy, but because um, I didn't believe at the beginning too that you can eat so much fruit as much as you want. There's like I was thinking, well, it's just a lot of sugar and things like that, but it's actually not uh, because you know fruit sugar. It's I, a glycemic index is lower than bread. You know it has water, condiment, fiber, vitamins, minerals, everything that you need and it's really healthy for you and um, eat as much as you want. Like everyone knows fruit vegetables is healthy. Right. And Everybody is taught yeah. that in school. Yeah. Yeah. Fruits and vegetables are healthy for So you. how you can eat too many of them? You can't eat too many of the healthy thing like vegetables and fruits because you won't be able, it just won't be able to fill it up, you know. And the amount that you eat is not small. I mean, you was eating, let's say, three times, two times a day in McDonald's, uh, but now you can eat the same amount of of food, or even more. Well, it's, it's funny. I eat more. I eat more yeah. volume. Yeah. But it's, you know, a third of the calories now yes. of what I was eating. Even like less than a third sometimes. Yeah. But, I mean, it's uh, not. It's you can. You eat more and you weigh less. You lose weight. Yeah, you know, so. yeah, and, and it's it's a hard concept to get in the beginning. It really is because everybody's out there, you know, carb phobia. Yes. You know, oh, you can't yeah, eat restrict, sugar. Restrict, you restrict, can't restrict. eat sugar. You'll get diabetes. Yeah. I beat diabetes yes. eating sugar. Here you go. I yeah. beat type two diabetes eating yeah. sugar. So I, I'm proof it can happen. Living proof. Yeah. Absolutely. Wonderful. Is there anything else you would like to share? No, no I, I can't think. I, I love, uh, I love Woodstock. 
I, I, I want to thank you for this opportunity mm -hmm. to, to do this and uh, help put my story out there to everybody and uh, it, it's great. I, I, I just love it. it. It's it's an amazing life. Hopefully we can meet next year at the no, festival. No, hopefully. I'll be festival. here. And you will be like maybe 200 pounds lighter, right? <laughs> I'm hoping to be more than that. 300s? I would hope to be 400, 300. I would 400. hope to be, yeah. I would, I would hope to be close to 300 pounds lost. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think it's, it's, uh, how, how long did it took for Philip to lose, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't like comparing myself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can. I, I, I'm going to get there on my, on my, my way, my time. Yes. And, uh, you know, I've that's, lost 75 pounds that's already. That's how you should do it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and, and I and I say that you know I'd be three hundred pounds lighter next year. If I'm not, I'm not going to be upset mm -hmm. because but I know I believe, I'm still living the life. I believe you can. I believe you can. You know, if you do stick to this and yeah. just enjoy fruit as much as you want, millions, water millions, apples, oranges, just, just ah, everything. Yeah, yeah, everything. And you will lose weight. Yeah, you yeah. detox, clean up. I mean, mentally it can be still hard because. For everyone, even like I, I didn't have to lose 300 pounds. I have maybe 10 pounds, 15 pounds to lose, but I still had a very hard uh, emotional like attachments, and you know that you have to face life because there's nothing to numb you down. Right. You have to face things that relationships and everything. Like even Dan McDonald, you know. Yeah. He's still struggling with that. He's been doing twelve years, you know. So it's yeah, it, it's a mental crazy. game. It's all a mental game. Yeah. And once you get once you get the mind under control and you just start living in the moment, you know, not, the past doesn't matter. It's the past. The past. Is, you know, the future is going to be what it, what it's going to be. Exactly. You know, all you have right now is this moment to live. Yeah. And, and you just got to take advantage of it and 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 live the dream that you want to live. Yep. Yep. So hopefully you will come here next year to Woodstock Fruit Festival and we're gonna be here and we're gonna make one more video for you next year. That's, that's right. Every year we're gonna do a video. Yep. And I hope some of you out there that are watching this, maybe next year she'll be interviewing yes. you because of your story. Yep. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. We all in this together. Make